Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing episode two, I guess, of my Confessions of a Skincare Hoarder series. Um, I didn't really know where I was going with that, but I figured after every five empties that I have, I should do an update. And then in that update, I can talk about anything that came into my collection and give you like speed reviews of the things I've tried but it's also kind of like a diary for me um, because I have so much skincare as you know if you saw the first episode of this video where I went through every single product and I try a lot of things at once and then I don't remember anything about them so I've actually been taking notes um, that's why I have my glasses on so that tells you this is a spreadsheet video and I'm looking at my spreadsheet on my computer so yeah I have five empties so I figured it's time to do an update and I will also talk about the things the products that I'm using right now let's start with the empties because I have them here so the first one um, this is not in like any kind of order, but it was the First Aid Beauty Coconut Water Cream. It was just a mini size, so I used it up obviously, and my notes were that I think this broke me out. And I really am disappointed in that because I really like this cream. I like the slight like coconut scent and the texture is more like a gel and it feels really nice and like refreshing on the skin but yeah i did like after using this i had like major breakouts on my chin and usually i don't get breakouts like in general unless i've like picked at something which is another issue but this like i had like um those under the skin like bumps so, but I did put a question mark because I'm not sure if it was this. Maybe it was like a combination of everything else I was using with this, but I still took that as a note. And I said I like the texture and it mixed well with my vitamin C booster, which I'll mention later. Um, but I don't think it's hydrating hydrating enough for winter so while this is a cream like I said it's like a gel texture and I feel like my skin just sucks it up automatically so for me I like something more like rich for the winter time but in the summer this probably would have been really good but because I'm like scared of it now I don't think I'll be repurchasing it but if I ever got it like as another sample or something I definitely I would definitely try it again to see if it's if this was the culprit. I also broke down the price, like the value of each product. So this one came up to be nine dollars and sixty cents Canadian for 0.34 ounces. So that's a lot for a little <laughs> for a sample. Um, yeah, so that's done. And then I finished another First Aid Beauty product, the Ultra Repair Cream Intense Hydration. I love this. I might, I mean, not anytime soon, but I would get the full size of this, the tub. Um, although I do like the squeeze tube aspect in the mini size, but I, ha I actually have another one of these that I found after I filmed my <laughs> intro. I found another bag full of skincare deluxe samples that I totally forgot about. So there's another one of these in my collection, but that's fine because I really like this. I said I was using this as a face cream, obviously, because it is... I don't... It doesn't really say anywhere. Oh, well, yeah, it says apply as needed from head to toe. So I know some people use this as their body cream. But I've only ever used it as a face cream and I said I liked it a lot but I still like my Belief True Cream Moisture Balm, is that what it's called? I still like that one better. There's something just really special about that product if you've ever tried it. So yeah, I still like that one 
the best, but I do really like this too. Oh, then I just have a little sample, but I wanted to mention it. It's the Erno Laszlo Multitask Eye Serum Mask. This was a sample that you could choose like in your Sephora order, so it wasn't like a point perk, it was just like a free sample. And I looked this up because I knew Erna Laszlo was like very expensive. And this little eye mask is $9.17. And the way I got that is because if you buy a pack of these, I think you only get five of them. So I divided whatever the price was by five and it came to $9.17. So yeah, I said it was a one-time use sample. I liked that the patches weren't too like goopy and slippery like some eye masks are and they stayed in place so like they didn't, I didn't have to keep pushing them up. Um, but I didn't think it did anything much, especially for the price. So yeah, I wouldn't repurchase these. Then I have uh, Ula Henriksen Truth Serum, the vitamin C, what do I call this? Vitamin C Serum. This is this went really fast because it was already like almost half empty. Um, I really like this too. I said it smells nice. Yeah, it has a really nice that like Ula Henriksen like creamsicle scent. But I don't think I used it long enough to see the results because it claims to like I don't remember what this claims to do. But yeah, I can't make like you know. A real review on it because I only used it a few times and it was done but I said I like the texture and the feel on the skin so yeah that was nice and then my last empty I guess I threw it away because I can't find it but it was a sheet mask it was the Dr. Jart Derm Mask Water Jet Vital Hydra Solution um, and that must have came from a set that I bought like a two years ago now. It was like a seven day experiment kit of seven sheet masks. And I said, I didn't love the shape. Well, in general, I don't love the shape of Dr. Jart masks. I don't feel like they fit my face properly. Like the eye holes and the mouth hole are so small. <laughs> it's really weird. And But I said, I did feel that it made my skin feel and look more hydrated. So I did like that one. And that was a value of $8. Oh, I didn't say this Ula Henriksen. This is $17. If you like, you know, take the full size price and divide it and everything, this is 0.25 fluid ounces, $17. Okay, um, yeah, so that was $8 for that mask. And I believe I got that number because you can buy that mask separately like you can buy all his masks individually so yeah those are my empties so currently like my current skincare routine let me just get the products because that'll be easier to show you what they are so the first thing I'm pretty sure I mentioned in my intro that I needed to use my masks um, because I have way too many of them. So I started using this one, the Fresh Umbrian Clay Purifying Mask. This is a mini size, but you can actually buy this size at Sephora. And I would recommend it because the full size is a tub. So you'd have to like put your fingers in it and everything. I only use this twice. And like I said, because I had like that huge breakout here which I think was from the coconut cream <laughs> I was using this just to like calm it down um and I said I really liked it and that I thought it actually worked on my breakouts and it can be used as a spot treatment so you don't have to put it all over your face it even says like on the directions yeah it says you can actually use this three ways to use as a mask, you leave it on for three to five minutes and rinse. To minimize small imperfections, dab on the affected area, allow to fully dry and rinse, and I did it that way also. You can also use this as a deep cleanser. Apply a small amount to damp skin and rinse. So I, yeah, I really liked this, especially 
for my dry skin. I was worried that a clay mask would dry it out, but this is really good and a lot better than the Glam Glow one, which is like way too intense. So yeah, I, I said it didn't dry out my skin, which is good. So if you have dry skin, but you want a clay mask, I would recommend this one. This size is $33, so it is pricey, but fresh products are generally really good and worth you know splurging on in my opinion so yeah but i did only use this two times i don't really have a need to use it right now so we'll see how much more use that gets and then i decided to pull in this clean skin club Vitamin C Brightening Booster with watermelon, green tea, and pineapple. I think I even mentioned in my intro video I was excited to use this um, because I can add this to my existing routine. I don't have to replace something with it. Um, obviously, I, I didn't use this though at the same time as the Ula Henriksen because they're both vitamin C serums and that just doesn't make sense. <laughs> But I, what did I have to say about this? I'm still using this right now. I'm, I actually used it today. My goal, by the way, I have goals for these products. If I didn't mention it, it's because it was a use up goal. But this one I said, I actually want to use this up too. Cause it's quite old and I'm worried about like the shelf life of this. Especially this brand is very like clean and minimal ingredients but I said I was mixing three drops into my face cream and so far I think I like it so that's yeah that's how I feel I don't know it's hard to tell with products like this like what are they actually doing it's supposed to be brightening I guess and I mean I guess so like but I don't, I didn't have like a lot of discoloration. Like my problem with my skin is like redness, puffiness, and like anti-aging. So I don't really know what this is doing, but it's not doing anything bad. And it mixes well with, I was using it with the First Aid Beauty and it was really good. And then today I used it with the cream that I replaced this with and that was really good too. So yeah, I'm liking this so far. And I every time I use it, I use three drops. I think it's only to here though, which is a bit crazy because I feel like I use this, I use this almost every day. So that's weird, but yeah, it's a strange, formula it's not very watery like it's kind of goopy if you can tell so yeah i don't know but i like it and i had gotten that in a boxy charm like most of my <laughs> skincare so yeah i am liking it oh the other product oh i didn't mention this this is actually, no, I'm still using this. Um, this is the Amore Pacific, the Essential Cream Fluid. And I actually really love this. <laughs> and I say it like that because the full size of this product is $129. So this little sample is, oh, did I not? I didn't tell you the price of the Clean Skin Club. This is $35 US. I didn't, I couldn't find um, the Canadian price because you can only buy this on their website. Yeah, so $35. I feel like that's not very expensive for a vitamin C serum. But anyway, that is US dollars, so it would be like 45 Canadian. Um, but yeah. Back to this Amore Pacific. This has actually a lot of product in it, but I think I have one or maximum two more uses on this. So my goal is to use it up, of course. I said I really like the texture of this and it is really as described, a hydrating moisturizer in a liquid texture. 
it's very interesting i would show you but i honestly don't want to waste any because <laughs> it's so expensive yeah but i said full size 129 dollars exclamation mark and i'm using it as my day serum because i'll tell you i'm using a night serum now but uh, yeah i really like this i actually added it to my sephora loves list just in case like it ever goes on sale or something i might buy the full size because i like it a lot like it's super hydrating and yeah it's very interesting like i said a hydrating moisturizer in a liquid texture it's really cool so yeah i really like that fortunately but unfortunately <laughs> so what i replaced my ultra repair cream with is another deluxe like mini size the Ulla Henriksen transform sheer transformation perfecting moisturizer this guy this is getting old quite old so that's why I pulled this in I still have a lot to go so I use this today for like the second time ever so I can't really give you you know a review on it I will say my skin felt a bit itchy after putting this on so I'm going to see if that happens again and then I don't know if I'll continue to use it because it's probably expired to be honest and when I went to look this up uh, on Sephora you can't get it like on its own but it is available in a set but the set is on sale so I'm wondering if they're like discontinuing or rebranding this sheer transformation line but um this would be eleven dollars and 33 cents because it's 0.5 fluid ounces so i and the full size is one ounce but i don't really know how much they were selling it for because i only saw the price of the set but anyway, I just put like estimation $11.33 on this one. I'm telling you the price because first of all, I just think it's interesting how these like tiny little skincare samples actually have a lot more, well, maybe a lot more product than you think, but also a lot more value than you would attribute to them. Um, but also at, at the end or in like another update from now, I want to see what is the value of the products that I used up. I think that would be interesting. So yeah. So that's like my empties and what I'm using now. And then, of course, as I finally was able to open the box of my um, Paracone MD Night Serum, which I've had forever, and I was like, oh, I'm finally getting to this. I got something in the mail <laughs> from Influencer. So I got two products from Garnier's new, well, I don't know if this line is new, the Green Labs line, but these products are definitely new. So I got a cleanser, an ultra soothing cream cleanser, um, the Amino Berry, it's for dry skin, sensitive skin, cleanses and nourishes without stripping skin. Yes, definitely agree. So this is like their like green line. So it has like no sulfates, microbeads, parabens and dyes. And I really like this. I've been using it in the shower. It's only down to here, but I use two pumps at a time. And I really like this. I didn't think I would because I don't really like cleansers that don't foam. I've tried one before from Ren that was also for dry sensitive skin, but it just felt like I was rubbing a cream on my face. But this one is like a gel cream and it does really just feel nice. And I noticed after using this, normally when I get out of the shower, my skin is very irritated and tight like not just my face like everywhere almost but this actually does this actually does feel like it's soothing my skin so i'm very pleased with this and i looked it up today because i haven't seen this in store yet but this is only 13.99 
for 150 milliliters. I feel like that's less than I thought it would be. And I'm, yeah, intending to just use this. Usually when I get skincare from Influencer, I use it till like the very last day that I have to submit my review because uh, I feel like you have to use skincare for a while to have enough to say in a review. I know some people just get their products and right away they're like, oh my god, it's amazing because they want more boxes from Influencer, but I really have to, I don't know, I have to give a really thought out <laughs> review on these things especially skincare like i wouldn't want to recommend something to someone and then it's like totally awful and i just didn't know because i didn't use it long enough anyway so 13.99 for this i said it's a gel cream texture yeah i said it's a gel cream texture it doesn't foam and i'm using it in place of my murad hydrating exfoliating cleanser at least until I have to submit the review. I might switch back to that because it's old. Um, <laughs> and it's a huge thing. Um, I also really like that product, but I'm only talking in the in these updates about the products you saw in that first video or new products. So I'm still using other things that I've had for a while. And yeah, I received this from Influencer for review purposes. And if you're wondering what Influencer is, I think I have a link always in my like referral link section. It's not a referral link. It's like, I don't know what it does to be honest. <laughs> but if you want to know, it should be down there. If it's not, I'll leave some information. Anyone can join Influencer. And you don't, there's no like obligation. Like I always say like my review is due or something, but it's, I'm choosing to do it. I don't have to do it. And actually I've gotten boxes where I forgot to do the review and I still received other things since. So I don't think it means a lot if you don't choose to review something. But anyway, that's the cleanser. But I also got this and I think I really like this product. This is the from the same line, Garnier Green Labs, the Super Smoothing Serum Cream. So it's a three-in-one night cream, which I think is like really interesting marketing because normally brands want you to use as many of their products as one. So they always say like, use with our blah, blah, blah. But this one says, this one product should replace your night cream, serum, and your eye cream. And I found that very intriguing. So I've been using it like they suggest. This is also the retinol. No, the, the cleanser was amino berry. This is actually retinol also. Um, it's with retinol and super berry blend, fragrance free for fine lines and uneven texture, which is me. Um, <laughs> And I've been loving this. So I use three pumps because that's what it tells you. Well, it says apply two to three pumps, but I feel like if I want to use it um, for like face and eye, I need three pumps because of my dry ass skin. Yeah, so I'm actually at night, I'm only using, like if I wear makeup, obviously I'm doing all my makeup removing steps. But then I only go in with the toner and then this and that's it. So I'm be I've been really happy with this. I feel like it's actually working. It's doing what it says. Because even like with the excess, I've been putting it on my hands and I actually have noticed my hands feel super smooth and soft. Um yeah. The only thing is because it's a retinol, I should be using skincare. Um I should be using SPF every day. I need to <laughs> do that because retinol makes your skin like sensitive to the sun if you didn't know. But yeah, I'm really loving this. So I kept the box because I wanted to read that all that information. But it's actually um, a glass bottle with a pump. And I just love the packaging also. 
So when I looked this one up, I was very surprised that it's only $23.99 Canadian. I mean, for a retinol, I feel like that's very affordable. Even though it's a drugstore brand, I don't, you guys know how I feel about a Canadian drugstore. It's like, you could go in there for one thing and you will spend $50. So it's, it's like Sephora at this point. But yeah, I felt like that was a good price for this, for what this is. And considering it would replace three um, other products that are probably more expensive than that on their own, I feel like that's really good. So I intend to use this until like I need to submit my review and then we'll see. I really need to get to my old products so I'm probably going to put that back for a while but I'm, I think I'm going to miss it. So yeah, I said it's three products in one and I'm using it as intended, so as a serum cream and eye cream. So to use it as an eye cream, you, it said like somewhere on the box, you, um, you have the excess and you tap it. You don't like actually pump it and put it on your eye. Um, and it says not to put it on your eyelid, just to note that. Yeah, and I, I said receive from Influencer for review purposes. So very happy to have received those products even though I definitely didn't need new products. But I do like receiving. I'm very grateful when I receive things from Influencer because I mean I don't have a big following and they still send me like pretty expensive things and these products are brand new. So very happy to have gotten those. Oh, and then the last thing. So to keep myself in check, I also want to mention these other products that I just got in my Spring Boxy Lux. I actually really loved my Boxy Lux um, this month. It's um, it's March when I'm filming this, and so I got it this month. Um, I was considering canceling my Boxy Lux. I think I mentioned in other videos, but this one was so good that I'm like, no, I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> so yeah, but I did get skincare and body care and some um, makeup. I got an, another Natasha Denona palette. I'm so excited. And I got a Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumper. Like, I love that product. So I'm very happy with my box. But these are the body care and skincare things I received. So I got this Frank Body Perky Sculpting Body Hydrator. Guys, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. It's in a travel coffee cup. Uh, this is the cutest thing ever. And this is actually usable. Like it says, um, somewhere reuse the cup after for coffee and i know that that's going to be good because i actually have a travel mug like this but a bigger one that's the same like material and i love it so i'm definitely going to use it it even has like this thing here where you drink from i'm obsessed so obviously like wash it really good <laughs> whenever you get to the end but yeah this and it says well you can't see it says but first coffee but it says but like a but <laughs> because this is kind of marketed as like i guess they're trying to go for like a cellulite cream but they don't really want to say that because then people might have certain expectations, but it's um, deeply hydrating, helps to reduce the appearance of cellulite, okay, it does say that, through moisture and massage, and caffeinated for perky skin. So that's why it's in like a coffee cup, because there's caffeine in here. And I guess they want to say like it's for your butt, like there's a butt here. <laughs> it's really cute, but you can put it anywhere. It says massage and circular motions all over your body daily. Focus on areas that need extra love, ensuring to massage in long, deep strokes. Okay. Get dressed or don't. Okay. <laughs> Use with my original copy scrub. 
So yeah, the only reason I even knew about this brand is because of their coffee scrub. I feel like when I first started watching YouTube, everyone was talking about that. But I don't need a scrub. I don't need any of this, but here we are. Um, but this smells really good too. Okay, so there's a lid, like a thing here. That's what it looks like. So this smells amazing. It smells like baked goods. I don't even know. Does it smell like coffee? I should read this, right? Oh, and the coffee cup. Okay, calm down. Let's, what's in this? I don't know what the smell of this. Is it the cocoa butter that I'm smelling? Probably. But there is fragrance in here. So I don't know what the fragrance is, but it's really good. And the coffee cup, it says, the coffee cup is food grade and reusable. Safer microwave, dishwasher, and future coffee dates. That's so cute. So I love this. That might not be a popular opinion. <laughs> I saw some people, I saw some YouTube videos um, where people were holding this in the thumbnail and being like, ugh. But <laughs> I love this. I love things that are in coffee mugs. Um, if you didn't know, I bought one of those candles that were like all over social media. It's a candle in a coffee mug. I just love it. Anyway, that was way too much time to spend on one product. Um, the, the next thing I got was from Glow Recipe. I have like almost every Glow Recipe product and I've gotten them all in BoxyCharm. Like I didn't buy them myself, but I'm really, really happy about it. This is the Papaya Sorbet Enzyme Cleansing Balm. Make makeup melting and smoothing. It has papaya enzymes, papaya seed oil and blueberry so this is a huge well it's not that it's huge i guess it's a normal size but it's very heavy it's i don't think this is is this glass i think it's glass there's 3.38 fluid ounces in here i think that's considered is that a lot for a cleansing balm? I don't know. So I haven't broke into this yet because I'm using the, oh yeah, that smells like papaya. Um, I'm using the Origins, I don't know what it's called. It's in the pink tube and it's like a jelly cleansing balm. And I like that because it's in a tube. So I'm worried when I go back to like jar kind of things, actually, now that I say that, I just remembered this came with a spatula. So this has its own spatula, which I, I love that touch because I don't like to put my fingers in things. So yeah, I don't know when I'll get to this, but I got that. I think I have other cleansing bombs, even after the Origins one to use before I get into this one. So yeah. And then I got another eye cream. I don't know how BoxyCharm thinks we're going to get through all these eye creams they keep sending us. So this is from Ren, which is another really like pricey brand that you can get at Sephora. It's the Brightening Dark Circle Eye Cream. Brightens and smooths. So I think I've said before, like, I don't my eye area concerns I, are not dark circles. I don't get them, but I do get redness and puffiness. So I don't know. I mean, <laughs> when will I even get to this? I don't know. But what I do like about this product is it's in a pump. So it looks like this. And it's an airless pump, which I love, especially for like project panners. Um, I know we, we love to see the, the product going up and see how much we've used. But yeah, I have so many other eye creams to get to. So this does say that it, skin is more even, hydrated, and radiant for bright, firm, and fresh looking eyes. So even though I don't get dark circles, I should still technically like something about this. 
we'll see whenever I get there. And then I got the Give Them Lala Skin Stay Calm Soothing Sheet Masks Aloe Infused. Oh, I thought these were eye masks, I, I think. So now I'm confused. So I got four masks. So they're individually packaged. This is what it looks like. It says, soothe and soften your skin in a flash with our Stay Calm Soothing Sheet Masks. Infused with naturally calming ingredients like aloe, chamomile, and licorice root, this sheet mask will leave your skin feeling hydrated, soft, and visibly smoother in just one use. Those are some claims. Um, this sounds really good. This is the kind of sheet mask that I like. So yeah, we'll just have to see how it fits on the face because that's important. And it feels like there's a lot of product in here. So yeah, it says you leave it on for 10 to 20 minutes. So four more sheet masks <laughs> to use, but I did use up one. So technically I'm only bringing in three and that's it. Is that it? Yeah, that's it for now. <laughs> so like I said in the beginning, I'll probably do another update when I have another five empties to talk about. And hopefully I won't have too much to bring in and more used up. I'm kind of just going with this series on the fly. So if you have any suggestions, comments, whatever, just leave them below. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!